while raising concerns about the parts of new security laws imposed on the city by China, Britain's Supreme Court said it would continue to assess the position of serving UK judges on Hong Kong's top court in discussion with the UK government. Under a 1997 agreement, Britain has provided two serving law lords to sit on the Hong Kong Court of Final Appeal. It is a tradition that the presence of senior foreign judges from common law jurisdictions, such as the UK, to serve on the city's highest court. It has helped burnish Hong Kong's reputation as a strong and independent legal hub. However, the recent imposition of harsh national security laws on the financial hub by China's Communist Party leaders has raised grave concerns about the city's legal independence, autonomy, and freedoms. The president of the UK Supreme Court, Robert Reid, said, Whether judges of the Supreme Court can continue to serve as judges in Hong Kong will depend on whether such service remains compatible with judicial independence and the rule of law. Reid added in a statement on the role of UK judges on the Hong Kong Court of Final Appeal, the new security law contains a number of provisions which give rise to concerns. Its effect will depend on how it is applied in practice. Reid didn't specify which provisions. Under the national security laws, China can exercise jurisdiction on some serious cases and Hong Kong's leader has the right to designate judges to hear national security cases. Even before the national security laws were enacted on June 30th by China's parliament without any Hong Kong legislative process or consultation, senior judges had told Reuters the independence of Hong Kong's judicial system is under assault from the Chinese Communist Party leadership in Beijing. Hong Kong, a former British colony, reverted to Chinese rule in 1997 with the guarantee it would enjoy a high degree of autonomy and freedoms. Hong Kong's number two official, Chief Secretary Matthew Chung, played down Lord Reed's comments. He indicated that Hong Kong's judicial independence is something which we'll preserve and we value greatly. He said, I don't think there should be any grounds for concern on the appointment of judges, and I don't think there will be any change in the judicial system in a long, long time to come.